Hi, this is Dr. Shahriyat Hussain. How are you today? I hope that you are enjoying Java programming. In this video, I am going to explain nested loops. Nested looping refers to looping over another loop. Many applications rely on multiple levels of nesting. For simplicity, today we will learn how to use one for loop inside another. In this video, we will go over one problem. At the end of the video, we will provide an exercise. We will solve the exercise in the next video. The problem we are going to solve is as follows. Print 10 lines where each line contains 20 asterisks. The sample output is provided here. Let us talk about the problem. Print 10 lines where each line contains 20 asterisks or stars or multiplication symbols. Let us think about the solution. Notice that we need to draw a line of 20 asterisks. If we can draw one line that has 20 asterisks, we can repeat the process 10 times. Whatever code we will write should have this structure. The first thing is we will try to print one line that contains 20 asterisks. That is, at first we will solve this subproblem. Print 20 asterisks in one line. Let us write our code in the main method of a class named nested. Obviously, the name of the file is nested.java. Printing 20 asterisks can be done by typing uh, system.out.println uh, and within the parentheses within quotes uh, 20 asterisks. Hard coding the asterisks will not make your code easy to change. That is, if someone wants to print 50 asterisks in one line, then you have to change the system.out.println with 50 asterisks. Anyway, we are going to use a loop that iterates over a system.out.print statement 20 times. I'm writing the structure of the for loop. As you can see, this for loop is designed to iterate 20 times. The value of the variable j will vary from 1 to 20 in this loop. Inside the for loop, I use a system.out.print print statement which prints just one asterisk. Notice that this is a system.out.print statement, not a system.out.print line statement. That is, each asterisk will be printed one after another one without any line. Let us save the file, compile it and run the generated class file. 20 asterisks are printed on the terminal. Notice that my command line, which states my computer starts right after the last asterisk. I actually want to print all these 20 asterisks in one line. Nothing else should be printed here. What we have to do is, we have to put a new line right after the last asterisk is printed. Let us put a new line after the for loop ends. That is, after all the asterisks are printed, this system.out.println statement will print a new line. As a result, the text, my computer, which is the prefix of my command prompt, will move to the next line. Please notice again system.out.println without any content in the parenthesis simply prints a new line. Just save the file, compile it and run the generated class file. All the 20 asterisks are now printed in one line. We have printed one line of 20 stars. That means we are done with this part. We have to now implement this part, which is the repetition of what we have done so far 10 times. Now that we have the code to print just one line, we can repeat this part that prints one line of 20 stars 
10 times. If we repeat this part of the code 10 times, we should have the desired output, which is 10 lines where each line has 20 asterisks. To repeat this part 10 times, we need another for loop. To control that other for loop, we will need a variable. Let the variable be i. We write a for loop in which the variable i varies between 1 and 10. The code that prints 20 asterisks in a line is inside the outer for loop that iterates 10 times. Now save the Java file, compile it, and run the generated class file. Notice that all the 10 lines are printed. Each line contains 20 asterisks. Therefore, we have solved the problem. Today, we have discussed the nested loops. One loop inside another one. Nested looping can be more complex than what we have explained so far. We are providing an exercise now. Print 10 lines where the first line contains 10 asterisks, the second line contains 9 asterisks, the third line contains 8 asterisks, the fourth line contains 7 asterisks, so and so forth. Um, the sample output is provided here. We are giving this problem as an exercise. Please try to solve it before watching the next video. It is fine if you cannot solve it at this point. We generally give exercises that are harder than what we have covered so far. That is what makes learners skilled. We will definitely provide the solution of the exercise and explain some relevant items in the next video. If you have not yet subscribed to our website competingforall.com and to this YouTube channel, please do so to confirm that you receive notifications on our new articles and videos. Wish you a wonderful day, evening or night, whatever is upcoming. Thank you.